you know those clothes you see and you think I just don't know how I would wear that or it may not suit me it's not my body type it's not my coloring all that kind of thing well you've just got to try them you may have seen this Zara suit before Trini was wearing it on a recent video looking incredible in it and that kind of pushed me over the edge I thought I'd give it a go and I'm surprised I really like it it's sort of a paisley print it has beautiful coloring as you can see and it's just silky and satiny and beautiful the blazer doesn't actually have closure which I would really prefer because I like being able to bring it in. It actually looks really nice brought in. So I've just put a gold belt over the top. This is an evening look with the gold sandal and gold earrings, statement earrings, a cuff over the blazer so it can be seen and a clutch in a different style of metal. I love mixing metals. So what I've done is I've put nothing, nothing on underneath um, but what I have used, I don't know if you've heard of these, the rabbit bra, have you heard of this? These little things. So I bought these quite a while ago and I've never used them because I rarely go out with a, with a sort of blazer on. Um, I don't know how well they work, they're working okay now. You basically put it under, lift it up and stick it. So it, they're such a great idea. So we'll see how well they go and how long they last particularly if I get boogieing and get a bit sweaty. Where am I going to go dancing? What am I talking about? Anyway, so I've just decided to put nothing underneath because I love that sort of plunging look and it's a real 70s look, particularly with the belt. And inside my clutch, I have on the makeup that I'm wearing and I decided to go for a nude lip and a more smoky eye. So I have a little bit of desire on my eye and I have Bella, the new Bella on my lip. And you can see, you can see it's, Gorgeous. It's just a soft sort of flush. I've also put it on my cheek. I think this will look different on everyone So it's really exciting to see it on me. I will get a lot of wear out of this I've also put it actually on my eye just sort of at the top there as well I was actually really unsure about this pant because I'm quite curvy in the thigh It's difficult for me to wear straight leg pants like this. I know Trini has cropped hers and that looks fantastic on her um, I don't think it works well on me. So I'm not going to do that. I do like the length of them um, but the top is not fitting that well. I'm going to style this a couple of different ways this suit and I will show you when I've got something on the top how the top of the pants look. So let's do that now. Here we have something a little bit unusual, a massive Crystal Carrington knit from Shane. It sold out in like three minutes. I think I got the last one. It's incredible. I'm still trying to work out how to wear it. It's over the top. But I thought I'd try it with these pants because they're quite streamlined. And it's just something unexpected and I love unexpected. So this is more of a sort of glam daytime look with the cuff over and the bright earring and of course this fabulous soda bag. I found the strap on this bag a little too long so I've just knotted it at the top. It was sort of hitting the thigh as you walk so I've sort of brought it up a little bit and I'm obsessing over this bag. But you can see that, you know, even with a really chunky knit, a lovely slimline pant like this looks great. And I'll just show you how this is fitting on me. So if you're keen to get your own, um, you can see that my waist, so these are my tights underneath, my waist is up here and the pants are sitting quite low. Not that I need them sitting on my waist, but I do like them pulled down for that extra length. And what I might do, because there's so much room in the top here, what I might do is actually just maybe put some darts in the back or something just to give them a better fit because they do work well on my thighs. So I think just adjusting things a little bit sometimes can be really, you know, can make or break something that you buy. But yeah, I'm just loving them and I might pop the jacket over. Hmm, thinking this might be a little bit too linebacker with, with the ruffles underneath on this thing. I've still got to work my way around this, but it really looks fabulous with you know some kind of knit under and what I've done is I've just French tucked this so it just has that easy look and I'm using this beautiful bag as a clutch instead. Alright let's try something a bit more casual and boho. Here I'm going a little bit more casual boho. I've hoiked the pants up to make them a little bit more cropped and I've put on a sensational leather brogue. This is a bright silver. These are from ASOS and I love how they're picking up in the silver on the bag and I have on some boho bracelets and some sensational earrings from House of Nicoletta, a little Australian boutique. She does gorgeous, gorgeous things. 
And I'm just leaving this open and casual and relaxed. I've pushed up the sleeves so you can see these fabulous bangles. And it's just a really easy sort of look. But it's still statement, you know. And it's just working so well with this fabulous nude Bella Bella. All right, that's a little peek at my gorgeous Zara suit. I'm really happy I bought it. I think it's going to look great as separates. And uh, I can also make a real statement by wearing them together. All right, hope you're having a wonderful day, girls. Bye, and boys.